In-house produced chrome moly tubular steel duplex cradle frame also gets carried over from the commandos made earlier. The frame comes with a fabricated backbone doubling as the oil tank for the dry sums OHV pushrod motor. My mounted pegs and spindly high bars keeps the riding position to a comfortable with the 32 inches solo saddle. The swing arm pivot points has been lowered 18 mm to improve anti-squat tendencies and provide for better traction. The Brit built Commando maintains essentially the same geometry and sweet steering manners for almost half a decade now. The wheelbase is a little shorter than before, at 1400 mm. This Commando used top spec equipment custom made for them. The Allen's piggyback shocks get lengthened slightly, giving more cornering clearance and putting more weight on the front wheel for quicker turning 41mm Allen's forks are as good as you can get for road use. The twin 320mm discs and Brembo radio brake package provide controllable, effective stopping power with just the right degree of sensitivity. Dual Brembo 4 piston calipers at the front and a 2 piston at the rear. Production spanned 10 years, and the Commando was crowned machine of the year by the UK. Based motorcycle news for five consecutive years, starting with its sophomore year in 1968 and running through 72. Unfortunately for Norton and fortunately for us, multiple manufacturers entered the classic neo-retro age and took her breath away. This California does a decent job at bringing to the 961 family the bold paint, some me ape hanger bars and lashings of polished billet, chrome, and carbon giving a dirty dose of 70s Americana to the party. It is both functionally pleasing and fashionably stylish. Those semi-ape western bars make the gentlemanly neoclassic street fighter feel like a relaxed high-speed sports cruiser. Luckily for the folks at Norton, they know their classics. Being the Fiat 500 or the Mini of the two-wheeled world, the reinterpretation of the 70s has not many faults.